Yo people, welcome back to another review, this time The Acolyte episode 3, and this episode gave me the worst reaction possible, which was no reaction. Shows love it when people like the content of course, but they also don't mind if people hate it because that gets them more views, it gets them more attention. Unfortunately, a lot of content creators are doing exactly that, they're falling for the trap. I think, to myself, we all saw these red flags, so we already knew that this show was going to be bad, so I don't know what these people were expecting. People only get angry if they were actually expecting this show to be good, which I don't know how, or if they're doing it for views, so I'll leave that up to you to come to those conclusions. I'm even seeing channels that don't even talk about Star Wars talk about this show because it's all political, and by the way, that's one excuse that these shows always love to say to people, oh but why do you make it all political? One of the dumbest comebacks they can say, because People make it political because the show is political. They put a lot of politics into it. So what do you expect people to do when they're reviewing and reacting to the show? Now, we'll go over some of the main talking points and I'm here to show you why it doesn't matter. We can just ignore most of this, at least for the moment. Now, let's start with the fire thing. Allegedly, the fire burnt all the witches. Now, I think that whole scene is from Osha's perspective. That's why it was very randomly edited and it can be a whole unreliable narrator thing and it kind of leaves you questioning everything. Unless Disney are shitter than what I thought and I'm giving them way too much credit, I actually think that the witches got killed by someone and not the fire. The bodies didn't even look like they had been burnt or nothing, so that was either on purpose, which I think so, or it was really shit from Disney. By the way, $180 million budget, so if they mess up and that was just Disney being shit, that's how much money they spent. Next thing is the witches, the whole interpretation of the force and the whole thread thing. I personally think it was garbage and it was a pretty poor explanation. However, I've seen people say that they're trying to overshadow and outdo George Lucas's force explanation, the ones that we get from Obi-Wan Kenobi, from Yoda for example. Now, I completely understand that, but... The way I see it is the witches have come across the force and they've come to their own conclusions and interpretations because they don't know any better. No one's told them what the force is or what you can do and all of that. They've discovered it for themselves. They've come up with their own rules for themselves. Also, because this is like a hundred years before Order 66, I see it as an irrelevant explanation for the grand scheme of things because later on in the storyline when it comes to the original six and the actual relevant content, George's explanation is the one that is seen across the whole thing. It's the final say and that can never be outdone. If they were doing this with Rey and in the new stories and in future content, stuff that comes after the original six, then I'd be pissed. Next part was the whole lesbian creation of life thing. It was not even explained as to why the witches decided to create these twins or how they did it or what the point of it was or any of that, so ultimately, why should we care? They hinted, oh, but if they find out how we made them, okay, now what? Also, we see that most of them allegedly perished, so that whole thing shouldn't impact anything in the original six movies because most of the clan got wiped out, they're extinct, or borderline extinct. Was the whole thing cringe? Yes. Was Leslie trying to push some personal fantasy or something? Yes. Also, I hear this random creation of life goes against Anakin's chosen one prophecy, but I honestly don't even see this story as any type of threat. They've not shown us why they could be chosen ones or anything, so I really don't even care for it. Like, I think it's so bad that it can't even compare to Anakin's story. It's not even a dent of relevant to what Anakin's story is, so unless they do something that directly affects the story later on, again, no reason to be pissed. Now, I'll tell you some parts that were very on the nose and it was kind of awful. It was the witches saying that they were oppressed and that they were the victims in all of this and I find it quite hard to believe that an entire senate with thousands of members would all be against these witches because they are female witches. There was also this one quote from the main witch and she's saying something like, oh, but the galaxy hates women like us. It was very Leslie trying to reflect her worldviews onto us through this show and it took me out of the show for a minute. It was just very cringe. Also, I'm in favour of the Jedi being made to look bad because George alluded to it in the prequels and in Clone Wars but the way they've elevated it in this episode was kind of extreme and I get it, we're trying to see the story from the witch's perspective, from the villain's perspective but it was just too far, like it's not believable. They were trying to make the Jedi just look like the villains, like they just groom kids, they take kids 
and how dare they and all of this stuff. Meanwhile, these witches are doing creepy rituals and trying to possess people. You tell me who the real villains are. All round, very political mess. Storyline didn't really gain anything from it because the death of the witches is still a mystery because of the whole perspective of narration thing. I do still think there are a few twists left. Maybe something that makes one of the Jedi look shit because Torbin didn't get a messed up hairline and kill himself and go into 10 years of silence over a fire that a random girl did. Otherwise that might be some of the worst writing of all time. But yeah, I don't know, I feel like I just don't care enough to even get angry or be happy or none of that when it comes to this show. I know the levels that Disney are at, this is doing even worse than I thought but even then, it's just laughable. It's not like, oh, I'm going to rage. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I still think, like I said, awful episode all round. Maybe some of the worst Star Wars we've ever seen. Live action anyways. The acting was poor. The dialogue was poor. Everything was rubbish. It didn't really feel like Star Wars at all. It just felt like something random and then they had Jedi in it. But yeah. As always, drop your thoughts down below, drop a like on the video as well if you enjoyed, sub to the channel if you haven't already, we are on the road to 700 subscribers, thank you for your time and have a great rest of your day.